Yeah. But that's not the worst thing, Greg. You oh, think, God. oh, I'm in jail. Somebody's knocking me out. I'm pooping. Do you take the L once and crap yourself yes. and then no one messes no one wants with to you, touch you for the rest of yes. your stay? So Greg had a question. Anyone out there? Anyone out there have been to jail? Yeah. <laughs> and he's got you, questions for people who have jail. been to jail. How was it? And also just, uh, you know, random jail stories. I can't imagine a worse thing. Yeah. Especially <laughs> medicine, really... I always mention, like, the toilet situation. Oh, yeah. Suicidal. Oh, yeah. my God. It's a really right. terrible loop on this song. Yeah, yeah I know. what so happened bad. to this? Kinda, I, don't, I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll, do. have to, we'll have to fix it in post. Yeah, see? skipping a little something. Yeah, yeah. skipping yeah. a little something. Put Seabass in charge of this. Yeah, all right. So Seabass uh, was in charge of talking to some people. He uh, he ran an ad somewhere like on Craigslist. or yeah, the, the finest of places to yeah. find people. <laughs> yeah. Like basically, hey, did anybody has anybody been to jail? Talk to me about it. You know, yeah. nothing terrible. Mm-hmm. But again, Greg, as you might have, uh, as you just kind of ferried it out there, a lot to do with toilets. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, so that wow. actually is a big concern, not just for weirdos like me and Matt. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll we'll get into that. A couple stories involving jail, though. Police in Austin, Texas, where the Woody Show is proud to be heard weekday mornings on 101X. Yep. Ayo. They arrested Optimus Prime. Fun. Bork, can you believe that? Oh, my God. How? Raise yeah. his bail Optimus money. Prime arrested for driving a stolen vehicle. Oh. And actually, it was a 37-year-old guy. His name is Optimus Prime Blakely, his actual name. Did his parents wow. give him that, or did he oh give himself God. that? I'm he sure he gave changed it. That. He was arrested, taken to the Travis County Jail. Sweet name, douchebag. <laughs> there was another uh, story where there was a, a person who has got a famous name, 15-year-old girl who got attacked by a shark in Florida. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Ravy was l- so excited that lucky day. Lucky for her, though, there were like several nurses and some doctors who happened to be on the beach, including a doctor named Muhammad Ali. Oh, no oh kidding. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so he and this Rap. other doctor, they, you know, used some tourniquets and, you know, got her hand at her leg. Didn't she say that was like a mother-daughter vacation or something like that? Oh, oh. you read well, it. one of the right? girls that, yeah. Because yeah. oh, there were three people bitten in what, yeah. like, like in the course within of... moments of yeah. each other? Oh, is wow. that right? They were hungry yeah. that in day. Somewhat shallow water. Right. The girls were in like, standing whatever. water. Yeah, standing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this guy, see, no, woman in Florida actually called 911 on herself. She was trying to steal a car from a dealership so she could do it legally, she says. Ah. To steal it legally? Yeah, she said, because I'm trying to steal a car that's not legally mine, so y'all better come and make a report. I'm reporting this. She thought somehow if she called in, it would make there was some loophole in the law that she would just be allowed to keep it because she reported it stolen. Oh, okay. oh yeah, that's oh, how it works. She's going to represent herself. So the cops, they arrived. They saw her getting out of the super sweet stolen Corolla. Uh, she told the officers that she was being trained in a game of black ops to steal a car but called 911 to make this, uh, the theft legal. Way to go. Okay. <laughs> to make it legal. Cover yeah. your tracks. Yeah. So I found uh, Optimus Prime's Facebook page. Oh. Yeah. He's got some uh, great quotes, inspirational quotations. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Tell Here's me. The, the first one right here. If at first you don't succeed, try doing it the way your husband told you to do it in the first place. Oh. 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 He got jokes. Go <laughs> <laughs> down a few yeah. days ago. Yeah. Happiness was, is when your grandchild comes and hugs you just because. Aww. Aww. Optimus. Yeah, soft side. Yeah. Optimus Prime, by the way, his late 30s. So. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, that's, <laughs> that's nice. What a babe. So uh, Seabass <laughs> talked to some of these people who went to jail after you know posting the ad on Craigslist. He's got some good stories to share with us. That's going to be coming up next. If you have been to jail, we want to hear from you. 877-44-WOODY. Don't give us any kind of like really dark stories. But if you've mm-hmm. been to jail and have an interesting story, let's not, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. We're trying to keep it light here, you yeah. know? Just more curiosity yeah. about jail itself. Jail itself. Not really your crime. Have you found true love. Arm robbery. Ooh. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Oh so, I mean, I'm, I'm saying it very nonchalantly because it's been so long. I've been out since for a long time. So, yeah. I told the story so many times. So, it comes across as nonchalant. But I know it was pretty serious what I did. Yeah. yeah. So, the stuff you see on TV, is it kind of like that? Or is it like a version of that? Uh, not really. Because I was even in the maximum security. Um, because anything in New York State, eight years and up, it's maximum security. So I was sentenced eight years, but you only do 10 months out of every year. Okay. So 80 months is six years, 10 months. So basically okay. seven years. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and so, then... uh, no, I mean, if you, if you stick, if you mind your own business, stay away from gangs, drugs, and that sort of thing, you can pretty much get left alone. Oh, how how okay. can you stay away from stuff though? Don't they force yeah. you to go to the yard and stuff like that? <laughs> uh, yeah. What yeah. about, tell us about the well, yard. Yeah, what about yeah, the yard? Yeah. If you see. But here's the thing with common sense. Like, if you see P. 
people doing something shady, just turn around and walk away. Yeah. Nobody wants to witness. So mm, uh, anything mm. you see, just I tell my wife that now. I'm like, don't look when people are arguing. You don't want to get stabbed, uh, too. Yeah, 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 yeah true. Yeah, yeah. I definitely agree with her that. a story about that. What is the craziest thing that you, uh, that you witnessed? So there was a guy who used to talk. He, um, so you get phone privileges. Based right. on what identification number you're given, you can put, enter that. If those privileges are taken away for whatever reason, you can have someone call your family for you, right? Uh, so say if Greg, I had my privilege taken away, I'm like, Greg, can you call my family and tell them how they're doing? Okay. okay. So this guy was doing that to this other guy's girl. Like, hey, let my girl know I'm okay. He's like, sure. He started talking to her. They got into a thing. Oh, oh no, no, dog. And uh, what happened to that guy? So you ever, you know, you know what a buck 50 is? A buck 50, no. Sure don't. So that's the scar on the side of your face that requires 150 stitches. Oh, oh dang! Oh, dang. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Wow. Oh, my wow. God. So Greg's always been just curious about jail without having to really want to go to jail, right? I mean... Oh, God, no. Yeah, right. I would rather... I mean, I, almost anything to stay yeah. just 10 minutes in jail to me would be living <laughs> hell. Oh, yeah. I've said Torture. that. I wouldn't cover for anybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It could be my wife, my own kids. Yeah. I'm not going to jail for anybody. I, I don't know what I would do. If you I can call me any jail. name. You can think of me however you'd like. Sure. Sorry, man. Not going to jail not for it. anybody. I don't know how anybody gets through it. And I will do yeah. anything that I need to to not go to jail. Meaning right. I'm not breaking any law that's going to send me to jail. Mm -hmm. Not doing it. And not going to do it. it. Not going to do it. And I know not my idea would never fly. Like if you end up in jail or prison, you just have a meeting with everybody. All right. Okay. Guys, Guys look, let's just be cool. We're all, all reasonable. <laughs> yes. Let's not make it even yeah. suckier than it already is. I know. Is. Why fight? Well, like, so right. I had, uh, <laughs> I had sea bass post something on uh, on Craigslist just looking for people to share about their jail experience or prison experience both right I mean yeah cuz think about it this way you have a, a county jail right, like a lock or a city that's jail, jail. that's uh -huh. like that's like more short term short -term stuff term where you're waiting for yeah. your trial and then there's state yeah. prison yeah Right, prisons oh, no. like that's the uh, that's the long that's the extended stay or federal yeah. prison. So you've got the right. hell and then the depths of hell. <laughs> yeah. Right. Wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's start with Sean. He and his buddy they uh, they were doing some drug dealing, some drug yeah, running. Sure, he's about to tell you. And then they, with the first day in, this is what, something that they witnessed. All right, me and my friend, we was moving. Let's just say we went to Texas to get some uh, bushes. We ended up getting convicted, caught. So they came to Florida to pick us up. They took us back to jail in Texas, a place called Anawak. People call it Ain't It Whack. Like, it's really <laughs> called Anawak. It's on I 10. They took us to the same jail, and we were like, you know what? We're going to stick together. Our first day in jail, a fight breaks out. Well, one of the guys who was fighting got hit so freaking hard. I ain't trying to curse, but the guy got hit so freaking hard that he shit on himself and he lost three teeth. Oh, oh my wow. God. <laughs> My God! You walk in, somebody's oh, getting brutal. Oh my wow. God! Wow! Is there a prison dentist? Oh, there has yeah, to be. There's yeah, there's prison doctors. Yeah, doctors. doctors. Is that dentists. necessary? Like, who though? takes that job? Yeah. Who takes that job? Yeah. It's on a rotation. You first. Yeah. 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 You yeah. see that in yeah. movies, and they're all just you know so yeah. jaded. Uh -huh. Well, because they're because half the time you're dealing with people that are that are scamming you, trying to get something yeah, out of you. True. Right. right. The other half the time you're dealing with people who are straight up mentally ill and need to be in a psych ward. Right. Yeah, and they're dangerous mm -hmm. AF. So the guy he craps himself. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Loses yep. a couple Lost teeth. His teeth. Yeah. But that's not the worst thing, Greg. You oh, think, God. oh, I'm in jail. Somebody's knocking me out. And I'm pooping. That's pretty much as bad <laughs> as it gets. Well, yeah, it's worse than that, Greg. It's <laughs> Nothing. The, no, no, the nicknames after that. Oh. 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 Got a prison nickname. Here yeah. we go. Okay. So the whole time he was known as me, he was known as the. Uh, Pot, stay away from <laughs> because if you touch him, he gonna on you. It was just bad, brother. You know what I'm saying? If you can imagine you staring at two guys fighting and one of them on themselves. You know what he was in for? <laughs> for being a drug dealer. Like you was in the street, you were this big John Gotti type. You know, you got all the girls, but then you had to come to jail to get your ass whooped and shit on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I do have a good question. I do have a good question on this. Yes, man. <laughs> all right. Do you take the L once? And crap yourself, yes. and then no one messes no one with to you, you for the rest of yes. your stay. Yeah, but they're torturing you. I mean, they're they're constantly ripping on you, and right. you're getting but, oh, you're still deal. getting. But who cares? But if you, you call me like, poopy pants, I'll keep my teeth. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna get I'm, beat up. I would do it on purpose. Yeah. on day yeah, okay. one. All okay, right. all right. I'll go psycho. Right, oh, yeah. okay. and then stay away from that guy. Uh, yeah. Tales from jail. So this is actually this is uh, Ali Sadiq. He is a stand-up comedian. Actually, this is him. I found this online. He's. Telling a story about how when you're in jail, just because somebody's old and small 
doesn't mean they're not crazy and can hurt you real bad. So this oh, yeah. is uh, okay. an old man and uh, this guy who's known as Spilla, Spilla. in jail. All right. It doesn't matter the size because some people are just tougher than other people. This old guy used to come out there and he would jump rope from the whistle to the first whistle to go in. And that's an hour. He just, <laughs> boom. And one day Spiller changed the TV while old dude was watching the news. And that old man said, hey, my, my young brother, if um, you change that TV once again, I'm going to be forced to defend my honor. <laughs> <laughs> and Spiller came around and said, hey, old mother you don't tell me what to do and change that TV back. And when he turned around and started talking to himself, this mother that made me put the hands on him. <laughs> I don't even want to do that to him. Young, and then looked at him, young brother, see what made me happen? You made me do that to you. <laughs> and Spiller's jaw was broke in like oh. so many places. Wow. Wow. Why are you even bothering somebody who can jump rope for an hour, man? Like, yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Good Valid point. point. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. From the uh, Drinking Bros podcast. Oh my mm. God. Wow. Damn. And your name's Spiller. Oh, Spilla. Uh, spill your jaw on the floor. Yeah. 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 Tales from jail. All right, this is a now, this is a lighter one. This involved no one losing teeth or getting their jaw broken. Or pooping. Yeah. Oh, well, so, <laughs> oh maybe. This right. is a guy I talked to okay. named Judah, and he said they were coming in, getting ready to go to, you know, getting all back in, snuggle up go, in go, their bones. Yeah, right. Go, yeah, go yeah. get tucked in. And t But one guy apparently had a pet with him. Oh. What? That got loose that no one knew about. Oh, no. Huh. All right. Well, it's like the, uh, the guy who had the bird in uh, Shawshank oh, Redemption. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Oh. I'm, like, about to go in my cell. And all I see is this one dude, he's, like, running straight to the middle of the common area. At first, like, I got nervous. I thought it was about to be, like, you know, a riot or something. And then I see he was uh, actually chasing a squirrel. Oh. oh. A squirrel. Oh. His pet squirrel. Little doogie. Little oh, baby. <laughs> oh, I knew you need a baby. Just a baby. Yeah. Problem is, the squirrel right. was out, and mm. uh, people don't, you know, even these big, tough prison dudes, you, you know, you get like a mouse or whatever. Oh, right. Right. Oh. Yeah. It was an absolute uh, chaos and panic. <laughs> Total so great gory. Like Ten minutes of panic. They <laughs> forgot to put the inmates inside. And once they put us in our cell, one of the correction officers on his way down realized that there was a squirrel inside of the cell block. And then they're like trying to like grab it with like um, one of the bed sheets. <laughs> yeah, okay. There was panic. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, again, well. all these big bad dudes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Oh. And they're panicked. It's like the, wow. the elephant who's scared of the little mouse. Right. Why? Yeah. That elephant could kill that thing. True. Mm. Probably just by thinking about it. Yeah. That's cute. That's cute and fun. That's, that's fun. No one. one's dying or pooping on this. That was so. a right. fun day yeah, in jail. Yeah, yeah. Here's a little bit more about this guy who had the squirrel. Do you know what he was in for? Yeah, he was. In, I think he was in for burglary. He had like three years. Like squirrels. Yeah, burglary. Huh? He just like squirrels. <laughs> yeah, like <a> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> we love that. All right, Man, it's your story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, nice. you're trying right. lines with this guy. <laughs> so, you know, uh, Greg had asked the question: Anybody out there who has been sent to jail? Seabass posted an ad on Craigslist. All these people who have been to jail started hitting Seabass up, and that's who we're talking to here or hearing from here. Right, them and some other folks. I, yeah. I found this guy named Tales from Jail, Jumpsuit Pablo. <laughs> And he, <laughs> here he is telling a story about uh, a man who really liked to work out and eat. Right. He would do squats, push-ups, and pull-ups all day long. That's all he did. That's all you, he would always be sweating profusely because he was always working out until it was time to lay down and go to sleep. And he ate. He was addicted to these lunch sandwiches it's just some basic bread might have been hard you get a slice of cheese and you get some very low quality meat he would put four or five together and like roll them up almost into like a sub or some just mm. ungodly mm. burrito and just eat it <laughs> the problem with this is his farts oh, oh okay yeah. You get those Brutal. protein farts. Yeah. Those dirty, dirty Dirt, jail sandwich dirty farts. Dirty meat yeah. farts. Close, yeah, close quarters. And the way, this becomes interesting because this guy who's farting up a storm, he's got a cellmate, or a celly as they say, J-Bo. Uh, okay. okay. And J-Bo uh -huh. is just taking these farts, and here's why. You'd go by the cell and you'd smell it. Like, man, you're trying to hurry and get past his cell because he is in there in his sleep letting them rip. He's under the blanket. Even the blanket <laughs> can't shield 
this gas, this this unholy gas coming out of him. Oh and Jabin God. would just sit up there in his top bunk, room smelling like the garbage dump. <laughs> and, you know, one day I just had to know, man, why do you just lay there and take it? Why don't you get out of that cell? And he said, I've been in this cell for a year and a half. And he was here before me. I've been waiting. Jabo had been putting in his time, paying his dues, smelling his farts <laughs> for a year and a half, <laughs> waiting to get this bottom bunk. Oh, oh okay. Uh, I, didn't say, I didn't know that. Bottom bunks are, huh. are prized. Oh. Yeah. I, which, I mean, I guess you would think top bunk, more privacy, yeah. maybe safer. Right. Maybe. But right. who, who wants to climb all down? No. You don't want no. To climb. It's a castle. I'd rather have the, the bottom bunk than the top bunk. Right, they're climbing up there all the time. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone can grab you. And if they're mad at you, they can yeah. yank you off of it. Yeah, yeah. you can fall. Uh, Tales from jail. Back to this guy, Ali Sadiq, and and bad roommates. We just heard from one there. Uh, the fart, the fart patrol. Fart machine. Well, Greg, I think you and Ali would actually get along very well because he was all about let's not fight. Okay. Let's not piss each other off. Yeah, Greg would have to like have a uh, like, come to Jesus with everybody. Like, really. Kumbaya. Yeah. Cool. Like, you guys, we need to sit down and chat. And yeah. In fact, Ali was all about keeping his cell sparkling clean. Oh, oh Greg. Wow. Well, but this he, is like the perfect scenario. But here's the problem is his new cell, because you don't control who your new cellmate right, is. Exactly. Right? So this new guy comes in and he's making a mess. I hate to hear the noise of people urinating <laughs> that, <laughs> into, sure. into the toilet. And plus that splashes out. And your floor is very important in prison. Like, you keep your floor clean. We take this stuff called sealer. We seal our floor, and it, and it kind of looks shiny. Oh. And you can tell somebody who's going to be there for a long time because you really take care of your, your house. <laughs> so you advise somebody, hey, man, put a towel over you and just sit down and use restroom so you oh, won't get that see? splash. There you go, privacy. Wow. And this dude had, a, like, a weak prostate or something. Like, it just drip out. <laughs> And I told him, hey, man, just sit down, X, Y, and Z. And he wouldn't. Oh. Oh, my God. See, men that's you, Menace, Stuffy. he sits down to pee. Yeah. Cover yourself with a with towel. The towel. So there's oh. a little bit of privacy. Pro tip. Yeah. And you're not getting sparked. Sp they Pro should bring tip. this guy to our offices. Yeah, on your sweet, right. polished uh, floor. Yeah. Okay, so this is nice. But now this new cellmate, he's like, oh, I'm Refusing. not. I'm going to splash everywhere. So Ali yeah. says, when somebody does this, there's a way to get them out of your cell. <laughs> All right. Then I said, hey, man, this is not a, um, a good fit. I suggest that you um, inform them of that because I can't tell them for you. You got to go tell them. And he's like, well, why would I tell them that? I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that I'm just advising you. <laughs> you know, you got to, and then you put your hand on their shoulder with a strong grip. And you're like, you're not feeling comfortable with your living arrangement. Yeah. So I wink, went wink. to the rec yard. And then when I came back, he was packing his stuff. And people ask me what happened. I'm like, oh man, he, you know, he wanted to go somewhere else. Mm. Yeah, that's weird. Ah, you, that's so take it in. <laughs> there can't be discussion. But you would right. think that if you told the jailers, I'm not comfortable with my living situation, they wouldn't care. Right. Say, yeah, well, deal well, with it. Yeah. I, I, I've I've read and, and heard a bunch of that type of story uh -huh. where the jailers don't want to be cleaning. They up would rather just move blood. Out. Right. They don't want uh, blood and oh, fights see, and yeah. lockdowns. So if they yeah. so if they hear this. And the easier move is just, hey, let's, let's set, him, change set him, him to a different yeah. block. Right. Yeah. Easy right. peasy. Yeah. Uh, on that guy that ate constantly, we did get a text from somebody who said, I've been in the army and I've been to jail, and the food at jail was better. Really? Wow. That's what they That's said. Sad. The one thing yeah. I, I keep reading about jail food is they don't give you enough. Mm. Oh, and so you're people hungry. have to be at the commissary yeah. getting these lunch Supplementing. sandwiches. Supplementing. Somebody right. also texting in, uh, anybody who's been to the L.A. County Jail, ask them about the chimichangas. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they're great. <laughs> yeah, they're probably quality. Yeah. 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 Well, we've had prison yeah. spread, and that was yeah. fine. Right. Delish. Well, have, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, delish. I have a little bit more here on the Tales from Jail. Wow. Coming up next, if you have like a quick story that you want to text over Fascinating. or uh, you want to hit us up on the phones, 877-44-WOODY, you could do that. Yeah, somebody said top bunk is always the bitch bunk. Uh, oh. Really? Yeah. Who Another knew? Saying, we, we're uh, learning so much. I know. See, that's why you ask. I could tell so many stories. Inmates sleeping with staff, corrupt officers. Let me know if you want more info. Well, we, uh, yeah, yeah. Gave you the number. The Woody Show. Well, we've heard some pretty interesting tales from jail. Very. Seabass put that uh, ad on Craigslist. Hey, anybody ever been to jail? Want to talk about it? Got any <laughs> interesting stories from jail? Let us know. And uh, we've we've already heard from a couple. May I say, people who've been in jail are really bad at following directions. <laughs> uh, so like I, like I, laws. I, never, I say, I, I, say yeah. I put it there, write a brief summary of your story, mm -hmm. and, we'll, and we'll call you if you think it could work. Yeah. yeah. More uh, than half said, 
Yeah, I got a great story. Call me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how about uh, this one? My brother is currently on an extended vacation. Okay. okay. If uh, you want to move from your celly, it's called PC Up. They immediately mm. walk you out, and you are then known as a rat or a tattletale. Oh, because they oh. protect you rat somebody out. Well, yeah. that's one thing I hear a lot is you don't want to be having small private conversations with guards. Yeah. Because uh. that's yeah. signs of rat. Right. Uh, let's see. Not sure if I'm too late for this segment. I was in jail. Some nice gentleman gave me shower sandals so I wouldn't go in there barefoot. And he even gave me hot Cheetos. Ooh. I kept in touch with my celly after I got out. And he said I was lucky to be bailed out because that same night I left. The two, the two guys came to collect their sandal and hot Cheeto fee via anus payment. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's wow. one thing I hear is never accept gifts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Like, thanks for the Crocs. Yeah. Oh, this is so nice. That's I, really sweet. What a friendly guy. <laughs> it goes back to the other caller. Just like, don't, you know, yeah, pay attention. Don't start getting involved. Get involved. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tales from jail. This is actually a corrections officer. CO, as they are known. Mm -hmm. Matt. He was doing the rounds one uh, one time. And a uh, an inmate flagged him down because he wanted to show Matt something. Okay. I was making my rounds and I look at him and he was like, okay, boss man, I want to show you something. And then they give those like little razor things, like a small razor. He grabbed his and sl slush, slash it um, in half. Oh, his he sliced his, it off. His wiener. Yes. With wow. a razor. With a razor. I want to show you something. Oh, oh, my boss man, check this out. Okay, terrific. Look yeah. what I can do. Yeah. Look at oh, me. My God. oh my god. Did you get god. the follow? Like what happened? Were they? They, well, they took him to the hospital. And yeah. Did they get could it reattached? Not re could not reattach. Could oh. Wow. Oh my god. Which which just shows and Menace has been saying this forever. Yeah. We need to reopen the nut houses. Yes. And people yes. talk about this all the time with jails. Is it's it's a almost stop yeah ABC. almost half of inmates are mentally ill right and they're not being helped by just throwing them in a the cell because mm -hmm. then they just no. sit there and cut off their wiener and then or we just let them roam free <laughs> or we just throw them back out in the street society, right? and then and they murder people and, and crap on the attack side. people but you know deinstitutionalization was a bad idea people yeah. okay I but if you were a guard and some an inmate said I want to show you something I would stand behind a plexiglass shield and say okay show me from ten feet away right <laughs> yeah what do <laughs> you want to show me <laughs> look at me I, I got oh. this razor and I got this right. other thing in my right hand. oh yeah. I really <laughs> thought this all the way through because you know, you're removing your penis. You are now forever locking yourself in as a bottom. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm not. I don't think he removed it. No, he did. He cut it. Yeah, in yeah. Half. He cut it no, half. I know. I know. They couldn't be reattached. No, that part. I think the inmate just grabbed it, though. I thought you were just now implied that he ripped oh. it out. Oh, right. No, I, I, I get what Rody. What he's saying. I, at that point, at the point that you you're known as the guy who cut it off, you don't get approached. Right, right, no right, 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 right. You're yeah. you're you're yeah. on crazy island, and that's uh, an extreme way for people not to mess with you yes. anymore. Yeah, oh. yeah. All right, eight seven seven forty four Woody. That's a fun one to end, right, guys? Ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, yeah. I think I prefer pooping in your pants and being left alone. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah. <laughs> I've not changed my opinion of never wanting to go to jail mm. for any reason or for anybody. Yeah.